I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to install and set up the popular app called Shizuku. Android itself is a highly customizable mobile operating system, but you can take this a step further using ADB commands. There are even some apps that require root access that can let you completely change the way the operating system works. For example, I use a root app called ACC to limit my daily driver to only charge up to 80% so that I can prolong the battery life. Some people are adverse to using ADB because it requires you to connect the smartphone or tablet to the PC and manually type out commands using a command line interface. Shizuku is an application that can grant those special permissions directly on your device. It allows third-party applications to access system-level APIs on Android that would normally require the user to execute those ADB commands. The only requirement here for this to work is that the application itself must be programmed with Shizuku in mind. Shizuku is a open source project that's currently being maintained by Rika, Haru, and some other seasoned developers. Now, the initial setup of Shizuku does require you to execute an ADB command, unless you have root access already. So if you are already rooted, you can simply tap the start button right here. And if you don't have a PC to execute an ADB command, or you just don't want to go through that hassle, then you can set up Shizuku using the wireless debugging feature mentioned here. In today's video, I'll be using the simple ADB command mentioned right here. Again, this does require a PC that has ADB and Fastboot tools installed. If you haven't installed ADB on your computer yet, be sure to check the video description below and I'll link to a dedicated tutorial that I have already done that will walk you through the entire process. If you want to use the wireless debugging method, follow the step-by-step -step guide here. Then you can use the pairing button. And then once that is all set up, you can tap the start button to initiate the service. For us to execute this ADB command, we need to make sure that USB debugging mode has been enabled. This is done via the developer options menu. So if you haven't enabled it already, go into the settings app, find the hidden developer options menu, and make sure that you have enabled USB debugging mode. With that done, we can connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. With the phone connected to the PC, we're going to open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. With that done, let's go ahead and type out the command ADB space devices and press enter so that we can make sure that our computer recognizes the smartphone or tablet that is connected. If you haven't granted USB debugging access to the device yet, then after you execute this command, you'll likely see a prompt appear on the device asking you if you want to allow this type of access. Simply grant that access and you should get a response like this telling you that ADB has connected to a device and it is identifying that device with a string of letters and numbers. Once we know that ADB can recognize the device, we now need to drop into an ADB shell. So let's type out the command ADB space shell and press enter. And you'll see here that we are still at a command prompt, but it looks a bit different than it did before. 
this word here is likely going to be the code name for the device that we have connected to the PC. Cheetah is the code name for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So once we are in an ADB shell for our connected device, we can now execute the sh command required to start the Shizuku service. This will either need to be typed out manually or you can copy the line and paste it into the command prompt with a right click of your mouse. This command can either be copied from the app itself like I showed you and I'll also include this command in the video description as well so that you can easily copy and paste it from your PC. Once we have this command typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and you should see a little bit of text being outputted here. We're looking for the line Shizuku started exit with zero and as long as you see this and don't see any other errors here, then that means we have completed the process successfully. As long as you see the Shizuku service is running, then we have completed the setup of Shizuku. Now you can use whatever application you want that requires this app since the service is running in the background. However, you should know that if you ever restart your smartphone or tablet, then you're gonna to need to manually start the Shizuku service again if you end up needing to install or set up an application that requires Shizuku to be running in the background. This will mean that you will either need to execute that ADB command or you will need to use the wireless debugging process. There are a number of apps that can use Shizuku to perform their actions rather than requiring you to have root access to the device. I want to cover some of these in the future, so I thought it would be best to dedicate a video showing how to set up this app and the background service. That way, I don't have to repeat all of these steps in every video for an app that uses Shizuku. I hope this helped everyone get familiar with what Shizuku is and helped you to installing it and setting it up on your smartphone or tablet. If you have any questions about this setup process or just Android in general, then be sure to use the comment section below and I'll reply as soon as I can.